Hi everyone. Hope you guys are all enjoying your day. I'm Dr. Christy Harder, just popping in to talk about something that a lot of my patients complain about, which is not having enough energy. Um, it can be such a bummer to wake up in the morning, not feel like you really slept, uh, and then go through your day just kind of about your day, not really having a ton of energy, not really feeling up to doing much, and then going back to bed and doing it all over again. So I wanted to just give you a couple of little touch points that might help you to figure out uh, why you might not have enough energy for the day. So um, starting really simple hydration. Uh, is one of the things that a lot of people don't have enough of, not drinking enough water throughout the day. Uh, and we need, all of our, our cells actually need water in order to perform our uh, bodily functions. And so if you don't have enough water, you will not have enough energy. It's really as simple as that. Um, sleep, um, that's kind of a duh uh, moment, but... Um, but it's true, if you don't get enough sleep, you're not gonna have enough energy the next day. And what happens during sleep is that your body regenerates and restores and resets for the following day so that you have enough hormone, that you have neurotransmitters, that you have everything that you need in order to create energy and to create uh, everything that you need for optimal health and feeling on the next day. So I often talk to people about creating a sleep routine. So 30 minutes before bed, no lights uh, or low lights, um, no screens, um, start shutting things down. Um, nothing more exciting than a um, clothing catalog. So if you're reading a great book, uh, but it's really stimulating and exciting, then I would put that down and, and do something that is a little less um, stimulating and so that your nervous system has time to relax. Um, also throwing in something that is relaxing like um, stretching or yoga or taking a hot bath. Those are things that can really help to calm the nervous system down. Uh, research has shown that if you go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time every morning, that that helps to create your sleep routine so that you actually sleep better um, if you have uh, those routines down. So that's um, pretty exciting. Uh, food. Uh, we talk a lot about nutrition and a lot about diet. Um, and nutrition is another way that you can make sure that your body has what it needs to create enough energy. Um, if you're getting at least five servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit, you're on the right track. If you're not, uh, try to add... Uh, incorporate uh, one of those uh, one of those in uh, serving at least a day. Um, if you're not having enough fruit, then uh, maybe think about um, adding a serving of fruit in uh, as a snack through the day because you're going get, to be getting more vitamins, more nutrients, and that's what our bodies need in order to create energy. Uh, exercise. Um, if you don't have enough energy, you don't want to exercise, but you need exercise in order for your body to create good energy and actually burn off some of the energy that um, that our nervous system has that, that might make you um, too excited or in that excitatory state. So um, you can do light exercise like walking or hiking. Uh, yoga, stretching, um, all of those things really help to um, kind of get the body going, to create um, good flow through your systems and organs of elimination, like your skin and your lymphatic system. Um, and, it, and it really helps to um, initiate your sleep. If you exercise during the day and you kind of, you know, burn some calories the day, then your sleep's going to be better as well. Um, so last but not least, um, for managing energy is to manage stress better. And we all have stress. Uh, life is stressful. Um, we can't always control our stress and what's happening around us, but we can control our reaction to stress and managing stress through 
um, exercise, through sleep management, um, managing stress by meditation and um, doing breathing exercises. It all calms our nervous system down and allows our bodies to um, recover out of that fight or flight mode so that you're not creating cortisol to artificially stimulate your energy so that you're actually able to rest, recover, and your body can create your own energy from the good water and the good food and the good exercise that you do throughout the day. So I hope this helps a little bit. You guys are enjoying your day uh, and you all be well. Take care.